Marhaba everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, my name is Senna. Am I wearing the same outfit as yesterday's vlog? Yes. Are we gonna comment about that? No, because it's the same day and I'm pre-recording this video for tomorrow technically for Sunday because usually I'm a bit occupied on Sundays so I still want to be able to film a video, record it and have it up you know to keep up with the consistency of posting and to just keep talking about it um and i just feel like this video is just going to be a sit down chit chat type of video because there are a few things that are on my mind that i want to talk about and it's nice to just have like a chit chat once in a while i feel like i look orange but the light is not orange it's just what if i bring it down a little bit was that better or worse do i look like i'm trying to tell some like scary stories around the campfire <laughs> i'll just leave it i just want to look too orange but uh, it is what it is today i was reading some books about just experiences um from palestinians um, poems by a Palestinian about their experience and um, I just I gotta tell you it is so different to be reading something that is about someone's um, experience going through a specific culture especially if it's your own culture especially if you haven't ever experienced that before and like you see those experiences on social media on the news and stuff like that um and then you read about their actual personal experiences it just really makes you take a step back and be like i'm selfish I'm selfish and that's how I feel I'm selfish because while other people are suffering and have been suffering and suffer in in, in ways where I, I can't even imagine what that must be like and I just I'm like here complaining about like such little not important things you know and I say that because this is a reminder for me and for anyone who's watching this video that this doesn't go to say that because other people are potentially suffering worse than you're suffering that your experiences don't matter and you don't matter and your feelings don't matter it's not about that it's about the tiny inconveniences that happen in our everyday lives where it's like you know your package is late or you know someone annoyed you or you're getting bothered because of just something so small something so insignificant that you probably won't remember it in a couple months and i just i want this to be a reminder to other people and also to myself included that when we look at our lives we shouldn't compare ourselves in the worldly manners to people that have more than us we should compare ourselves to people that have less than us because once we start doing that and once we genuinely immerse ourselves into the real experiences that other people are going through and the real lives that other people are living it is so easy to spot so many of the blessings that we have it's very easy because with the spread of social media it's really easy to get into this consumer mindset especially with like i got this on tiktok shop and i got this on tiktok shop and you need to get this and this should be on your amazon wish list and blah 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 all of these things kind of like you know sometimes for things that you don't even think about you're like oh i want that because this other person has it or because this other person got it and i just feel like it puts us into this cycle of consumerism and into the cycle of not appreciating or recognizing all of the things that we have and through this whole horrifying experience 
with Palestine and seeing what these people are having to live through day in and day out and here like reading these stories and hearing other people you know talk about their experiences as Palestinians it's really been such like an eye-opener for me where even when I'm like able to get what I need as a woman for you know whatever I'm going through you know like feminine products you know I just stop by across the street and I can just get what I need like even that is something that you're just you're so accustomed to and you're so used to but other people in Palestine don't have that they don't have access to that you know the fact that you know I can I can go and find a bottle of water and have clean fresh water to drink I'm not sitting here you know dehydrated or <sighs> you know starving or anything like that when i can have running water and to make wudu and clean clothes to wear and i have food in my fridge and i have food to feed my my kid and and even today i he was sitting next to me while i was reading and i just i was like playing with his hair and i held like he started like leaning back on me so i was like carrying the weight of his head in my hand and he was just like having fun and whispering and messing with me and I was just like looking at him and just thinking what would that feel like if the weight that I was carrying right now was his lifeless body because someone killed him in my arms and I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I don't know how I would feel. I see what other people are going through. I see what other people are, are doing. And I just feel like that takes such an immense amount of strength and devotion to Islam to be so humble in those experiences. You know, I'm sitting in the car today. I'm recording um, part of my reading vlog because I have my packages to drop off for my work. And I'm just thinking like, I'm so blessed to be able to have this very expensive, I mean, technically unnecessary piece of equipment in order to be able to put out my content for you guys to watch. And then while I'm reading in the car, I'm holding my husband's hand and I'm like, how many women don't get the opportunity to hold their husband's hands anymore? Even yesterday, I was feeling a little bit just like I needed to take just a mental break. And I really just wanted to sit in silence. And I was just thinking like, wow, even the ability to sit in silence and not because I'm afraid or because something I'm, you know, afraid of something bad happening, but just like the fact that I can take like five minutes to be able to sit in silence and just kind of like, you know, daydream and think about my thoughts I in that moment I was thinking like wow this is such a blessing <laughs> don't compare yourself to people that just they're consumers and they just want more and more and more and more and it's like you're just wasting your life away feeling like you're inadequate because you don't have the latest thing some people are struggling to find a, a bite to eat even today I was eating bread and butter and I was thinking how many people would wish to be in the position that I'm in to have that bread and butter. Something so simple. Be mindful of what you have, all of the little things, and it you probably won't be able to count all the blessings that you have. But be mindful of the things that you can recognize, the opportunities you have, the shelter you have, your loved ones being around you, um, food, water. Recognize that some people that are a plane right away don't even have a, a, a country. Their own country, they don't even have it. They don't have their homes. They probably only have the clothes up on their backs. They don't have feminine products. They don't have food. They don't have water. Day in and day out, they're getting bombed and they're getting attacked and they're having to pick up the remains of their loved ones and bury them and just and repeat 
it's it's a cycle they're just repeating every single day this is also a reminder that my dms are open if anyone wants to talk if anyone wants to learn more if anyone wants to vent it's a safe space um i appreciate the people that send me messages i appreciate the kind comments and the kind words and just the support through everything that I want to do and that I'm trying to do. It really does mean a lot to me. Anyways, just, just a reminder, a message. Just remember these things. If you're still here, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching my videos, for supporting my channel. If you're new, don't forget to click the subscribe button and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.